Watching a troop of baboons run and roam and forage and play is a breathtaking sight. They are some of the world's largest monkeys, fascinating animals with great strength and curiosity. Baboons are ground dwellers that often live on the savanna or in the open woodlands in Africa. These particular old world monkeys aren't from another country. They're South Texans, born and bred, part of a unique pedigree colony at Texas Biomedical Research Institute going back seven generations. They are a valuable biomedical research asset. More than a thousand baboons live at Texas Biomed. These young males call this six acre corral home. The animal care staff makes sure they get to behave as naturally as possible. Just because they are animals that are used for biomedical research, it doesn't lessen that dedication and that commitment to their welfare and care. That's Texas Biomed's head veterinarian, John Bernal, who oversees the treatment of more than 2,000 animals that are part of the quest for new cures and treatments. We have a very clear and firm responsibility to these animals to treat them with dignity and optimal care. Dr. Bernal proudly shows the operating room, which looks like a facility you might find in a community hospital for people, complete with anesthesia machines and blood pressure monitors. Fluoroscopy can track the injection of dye for sophisticated imaging. And just as their medical needs are met at a high standard, the primate's housing is also attended to with care. Cages are cleaned daily. Caregivers bring special enrichment food and interact with the animals. In this case, rhesus macaques. Texas Biomed has 900 macaques, an important animal model that helps scientists investigate diseases like Ebola and HIV. Good. Good. Some apples. Scientist Ricardo Carrion has been working with research animals for the past 15 years. He investigates vaccines and treatments for diseases for which there is no cure. He considers the role of animals crucial to future breakthroughs in bioscience. I believe that animal models provides us insight into diseases that we would not be able to understand otherwise. So they're running blood work. Dr. Carrion and his team work in the Biosafety Level 4 lab, suiting up in head-to-toe gear to protect themselves against some of the world's deadliest pathogens. Without animals that can mimic human disease, Dr. Carrion says progress would be slowed to a glacial pace. We all care for animals. They're, they are, they're a valuable resource. Uh, we depend on them for um, us having these scientific breakthroughs. So we all work together to make sure that we use this, the smallest number of animals necessary and we use the right model. The right model for hepatitis C, a disease that affects 180 million people, was the chimpanzee. One Texas Biomed researcher devoted most of his career to pinpointing this disease, discovering how it impacted the body, and along with many other scientists, helped develop a cure on the market today. A single pill a day for 12 weeks can wipe out this previously intractable health issue. Here's scientist Robert Lanford. We don't use chimpanzees for research any longer, but we need, must appreciate that they were critical for every part of the progress in developing this cure. Our goal is to give people longer, healthier lives. The immune response, how the brain works. We can start that in small animals, but when we get to the point where we're gonna move forward into humans, we want to know that it's gonna work and it's gonna be safe. And today, we still need research in monkeys. Scientists follow federal guidelines in animal research with oversight from several agencies, a committee that includes not only scientists, but also community members evaluates how the research is conducted and reviews all of the protocols before any studies can move forward. New World animals called marmosets are the smallest monkeys on the Texas Biomed campus, a colony that is 300 strong. Miniature but mighty, about the size of a guinea pig with a long tail, these fast-moving monkeys are an important model for aging studies. They often have twins or triplets, making them useful for studies involving maternal fetal health issues, like the emerging Zika virus. The scientific work in these larger mammals is built on the work first performed in smaller mammals, like these mice at UT Health San Antonio. These are uh, the neuronal cells primary cultured from the mouse brain. 
Dr. Hei Young Lee is researching autism in the Department of Cellular and Integrative Physiology. She explains small animal models allow scientists to study the practicality of treatments before using more complex animals. We give greatest care to our animals at UT Health San Antonio to ensure rights that possesses in nature. That includes food, water, shelter, and reducing pain with anesthesia during procedures. We believe that healthy animals provide the best result in research, so we proudly uphold standards of human treatments. Lee's promising work with genetically engineered mice is shedding light on possible interventions for people with autism. But she says she couldn't pursue any breakthroughs without living, breathing subjects. Computer models simply lack sufficient information or data to predict what occurs on the frontier of science. In Dr. Carrion's mind, good science and good animal care are inseparable. When you have animals that are healthy, that are getting good care, we know that the results of the experiment can be trusted. For many scientists and veterinarians in the biomedical field, animals are the unsung heroes of biomedical research. I have a real tender spot. I mean, I have dogs and cats and animals at home all my life. When I come here, I bring that same love for animals. And that's the reason I appreciate the loving care I see being given to these animals by the animal care staff, the veterinarians, and the technicians. They take great care of these animals. Texas Biomed is enhancing lives through discovery. UT Health San Antonio is making lives better. We honor those who meet the needs of research animals and pledge our commitment to compassionate care and scientific integrity.